let's, before I suppose we develop the theme about stepping up, let's just be minded of the backdrop against which, which we are operating at the moment, because I think it is significant and it is important <laughs> when we discuss this, other than my backdrop here, yeah, um, is... So, Your backdrop is on new critical eyes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the, the, the sort of economic backdrop is, is a very different one. So okay. we obviously had the first pandemic in 100 years, um, we have had the first invasion in Europe um, in 75 years taking place. We have inflation that is um, abounding and increasing and probably hasn't been at this level since um, 40 years ago. And this therefore signals obviously a change in what leadership is required and what is required of a leader, I should say. It's an inflection point. And therefore, it's arguably the place at which there's new waves of innovation and leadership are required. What, what's your observations on against that backdrop? What leaders need to do at the moment, would you say? What, if there are perhaps two or three things that are very, very important, what would you say they might be? Well, I think, I think, yeah, I think, Charlie, I think that, that that's a very difficult one. Um, because, well, for example, we have been um, engaging in all this discussion um, in various uh, critical eye events over yeah. the last two three years. Um, yeah. And if we were talking about this three years ago, no one will, no one can forecast about all these things, is it? No one can. I think the, the key thing is um, uncertainties is becoming norm. Yeah. Now, so when uncertainty is becoming norm, the, my, my, my thinking is if you can, identify anything certain within the uncertainty and build up on that is what I meant. Now, um, um, and then you will have a chance and opportunities, uh, no matter what other uncertainties are coming. Yep. Um, for example, we talk about, um, I still remember in the, uh, in the um, um, NED forum a few days back, um, we talk about digitalization. Now, that is a trend. That is something for sure that will linger on for years to come. That yep. won't change. That will be even becoming more and more important um, as part and partial of daily life, um, the, the post-pandemic norm. So that is something certain, despite of uncertainties. You, whether you have war, whether you have you know, inflation, you know, pandemics, et cetera, et cetera, digitalization will go on and on. So I think for any individuals or companies, we need to take that very, very serious. And there are other things, but obviously that is a key trend. Um, and um, uh, so, so I think being able to identify in your own industry or in your own um, sector, uh, own countries, the key trend, which is having a lot more certainty, uh, certainties within an uncertain environment, that will take you a long way forward. No, I think that's a, that's a very nice way of looking at it. And, it, and you know, whether we're looking at supply chain issues, now we know there is a big issue about supply chain at the moment, that might present an opportunity for someone to come up with a solution, whether that is a data solution, um, who knows, but it is about putting in place a solution, competing with someone who's probably working in, under the old system and not operating in what might be required going forward. Um, the other obviously challenge that people are going to deal with is capital and not having access to capital. Um, what, what sort of challenges do you think that brings for organizations? Because inevitably over the last 20 years, well, since 2008, capital has largely been made available and very cheaply. That might have made people a little bit idle in terms of understanding its significance and its importance. So suddenly that's going to change. What, what does one do as a business leader to respond to that challenge, do you think? Or is it, as you say, that's the certainty and therefore we know how we need to navigate through that? No, I think, I think capital is um, obviously the last 20 years or so have been on the ready to be relatively on the cheap side of things. Yeah. It's, it's a lot easier. And I think um, um, uh, given the, the, the interest rate scenario and everything, um, capital firstly will be more expensive um, yep. and would be more difficult to get as well. Um, but I'm sure that if you are in the 
in the right industry doing the right business model, you will still get access because it's not about that. Because the people risk appetite are, 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 are not that good at this time. Um, but uh, people still have the money to invest. I was, I was talking just this morning, I was talking to a, um, a PE fund in the ABC and PE fund. Um, they do doing both VC and PE in, in China. And they just finishing off a 7 billion you know, US dollar fund. And I said, well, despite this, 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 you know, and and uh, uh, this kind of environment, how can you still be able to do it? You say, you said there's still money around, but but they are very very cautious. Um, the risk appetite, as I said, is not that high anymore. Yeah. But they are yeah. still looking for, as I said, key trend. For example, um, I talk about digitalization. We still think technology will 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 keep going, especially in you know in areas like AI in data. Um, in the in the matter space, um, they will still be going on. And the other thing is is about health. Um, I think because of the yeah. pandemic, um, a lot of people are looking at health tech. A lot of people are looking at healthcare system reform. Um, so these are the things that so money will still be there. Um, they would be a lot more cautious to to put into investment. Um, but if you're in the right industries. If you have the right business model, uh, I'm sure that um, giving the assets of capital is is more and more difficult. Um, you will see in a lot of traditional um, sectors there'll be a lot of consolidation and things like that. So capital will be much, a lot more focused and concentrated rather than before. Um, it'd be relatively easier to get access to cheap capital. Good. Well, it's not so good, but I mean, that, that what creates opportunity. And so with a consolidated market, then there are people who are going to move in to seize that opportunity. And it's and arguably, given what you said at the outset was, it's about identifying something that is certain.